Here we are again, Canadian Ranch. We're working on a Ford Explorer, 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. And we're gonna put spark plugs in it. All right. Great. All right, so I'm gonna start with a rant. Um, they put these covers on here and all the sand and everything sits down in here. You gotta take this cap off, pull this cover off. And where does all that debris go? down a cap. Sort of a dumb idea out of my eyes, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to stuff a little rag down there, and once we have a cap off, obviously, pull the cover off, and then we can bring the debris out with the rag. All right, that's step number one. All right, so we'll stuff that down there, it's just a paper towel, and we can pull up on here, like that, and any debris, like that, that one pebble, you see it? It's right there. Anyway, that's not going to go in your engine. So we'll pull up on the other side, right here, and then at the back, there's one, doing this all with one hand. And there's the top of our engine. All right. So, instead of getting that in there, I'm going to put the oil cap back on. <coughs> all right. So, six plugs. They are very... Not so bad. I was going to say very easy, but I hate saying that because then you run into problems. Um, right here, these are coil packs. We're going to take those 10 mils out, take the coil packs out, and then the back ones hidden under this harness here. And I can see one poking out there. Uh, there's nothing that way, so they must be the other way. Yeah, so the other one's under here. And then the third one back in there. And it's plenty under this ducting here. I don't know, what is it? Yeah, it is ducting. Alright, so that was my finger. Um, Alright, we're gonna pull those 10 mils. We'll do the front three first. And I better go get the plugs. Alright, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, just, there's a little red lock tab there. You can just barely see it in there. Can you see it? There it is there, that red lock tab. So what you gotta do is push that down, then you can squeeze this clip and pull it off the top of the coil. We're gonna do that now. So you can see I just did that one there. Uh, just took a little bit of uh, convincing that it needed to move. And we'll see, and when you hear it, you'll know exactly what I mean. You'll know that it's open. So here we go, there we go. Hear the click, that's it. That's as far as it's going. And now, we'll go on this one maybe, because it's easiest to see. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. So we can push down on the top of that, and that'll release the part that's holding it, which is right about there. So it's like a little lever, right, like a seesaw. Push down on that, and pull. Now that obviously is gonna take two hands. Well, let's try it. With one hand. Down. Wiggle it back and forth a bit. No, no way. Two hands. All right, so they came off fairly easy. Uh, like I said, you just push down here with that open like that. With that red clip open like that. Push down on that gray part right there and pull that off. Now we can remove these, I called them 10 mils before, they're 8 mils. We'll remove those three, we'll do three at a time. And I think I'm going to remove that too. It's just a big cover. And that'll let this part of the coil come out, whereas it was covered with that cover. All right, so onward. So I took the 8 mil out there, and we'll just grab this coil a twist back and forth and there it is we'll inspect it look for any uh, tracing so what I mean is if the spark was going to travel down the coil and cause a miss you would see it or you may see it let me rephrase that but I don't see anything everything looks good I don't see a lot of corrosion or anything in there and your spark plug is you can just see the tip of it down in there. All right, 
We've got an extension and a uh, 5 8 socket. We'll get that guy out of there. So I got two removed. I'm about to remove the third one here. This line, which is hard plastic, um, you don't want to flex that. So what I did is you just, that little white clip right there, move it over a little bit. So let's see if we can show you. So a little push like that and it comes off. It's that simple. Now I had it a little bit loose. You're going to pull a little bit harder than that. Um, anyway, now I can get to this. I'm going to unplug this wire connector as well. Remove that. And then I can pull that straight out. All right. That guy. Now, sometimes you got to spin them because the, this will interfere or that might hit something. Anyway, spin it a bit. And boom, it comes out. Look at it, it looks not so bad. I don't see any tracing. Let's look for green corrosion in here, that's another good idea. I don't see anything like that, that looks good. Now, one of the point, uh, keep these coils in order. Don't mix them up. I always put everything exactly where I find it. Okay, so I got two extensions here, because uh, I don't want to bend over. And we'll just do that spark plug. You can see it way down in there. It's coming out. If you feel resistance, so if it doesn't want to move, you might have to uh, spray a little lube down there or something like that. All right, we're getting to the end of it. All right, there's one, so thread it out the rest of the way. Now you can see that I've already taken the center cylinder plug out. And here we go. There's our spark plug, so we'll look at it. Does it look bad? It, it's hard to tell. It's not like the old school plugs where you can see the electrode really well. These have a very fine tip on them. I think it's iridium or something like that. Um, but what you can look at is the electrode, so this part of it, usually if it went, wears thin, which it hasn't really, let's give it a slow turn here, oh it is there, so you can see that on that side of this thing, it's worn a little bit more. So before I put each plug in, put a little bit of anti-seize just on the threads, you can see I just put a little bit, a little dab just on the one side. As it rotates through, it'll go all over. Um, yeah, and I also use a socket that has the rubber inside, like that. And that's so your plug, when it's in there, doesn't move a little bit and you crack this porcelain. So that's why they have that rubber insulator. But that also makes it easy to put the plugs in because it'll hold the plug. So if I can do this. When you're putting the anti seize on, try not to get any on the electrode. Well, not try not to. Don't get any on the electrode. There we go. It's in all the way. See, it won't fall out. You don't want to drop the spark plug. They're a little bit fragile. And we'll go straight into that hole like that. Uh, another thing that works nice is the hose. I usually use uh, 3 8 fuel hose. Fuel hose. It's hard to say. And. Uh, that allows, uh, if the spark plug happens to cross red or something like that, it won't allow it to go very far. It'll just start and bind and then the hose will spin. So hose is always a great option as well, but I'm pretty confident I've got it straight. And I wind it in as far as I can, just by hand, and then you know it's in straight. And I got it several turns in there. All right, one more to go. Another important thing to check is the spark plug gap. So you can see between the very tip of the, the electrode and the tip of the, uh, where it sparks too, I guess, if you wanna say that, um, there's a little bit of a gap. So that's setting your spark plug gap. On uh, this particular car, it says 30 to 33. Uh, I checked each one, I didn't move it. Uh, they were all set at 30, but I always check it for the reason being, you never know when it's in the package and it got bumped or something like that. So, anyway, checked it, 
perfect. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Put it in. Very nice. All right. So those are the three easy ones. We're going to move to the back ones, which do not look that much fun, but all right, let's see. Okay, so this side's all done. I got the electrical connectors on, they're in, they're tight. Uh, you don't have to go super tight. I'm using a quarter inch ratchet, which is this long, and I'm just turning it like that. You know, I can feel it, it's tight. So if that makes sense to you. Uh, we'll hook up our hose, we'll hook up that other connector, and this side is completely done. And we'll get on with that other side. Oh yes, I gotta put that on too. But yes, everything else first. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to do the other side is we're gonna take this hose off, and we're gonna see if there's any oil, large amounts of oil in here. No, there's not, oh, there's a little bit there, look at that. That's not a good sign. Yeah, look at that. A little bit of oil down in there. All right. Uh, we're also going to take this clamp off here and pull that off. We're going to disconnect this wire connector, which obviously I loosened off already. There's another one back here, which again I loosened off already. And this 10 mil right here. Take that guy right off. Should be able to lift this up a bit and maybe just move it a little bit out of the way without doing the other hose clamp on the other end. Um, but if we have to, we have to. Let's see how that works out. So we're still digging in here. I got this hose off. Um, I have a trim tool and we're going to just very carefully move that out. And I thought I saw another one there. Again, everything here is plastic, so you want to be careful. Um, yeah. So like there's another one maybe back there. So, okay. All right. There we go. That one's out. That one's out. We should be able to flex that a bit. I think I can get enough movement out of this hose here. This uh, plastic thing here. So if I got to do one plug, it's slightly behind. The other one, I don't know. We'll see. So here we are on the first plug uh, from the uh, front of the engine, from the belt side of the engine, which is that way. So first plug, rear bank. Uh, we're going on this side of this harness. When we get to this plug, we're going to pull that harness a little bit forward, and we're going to tuck in behind and uh, get the next plug out. And then the third one. Well, that's a surprise. Uh, uh, we're probably going to pick this up and move it over a bit, use a little bit of a shorter extension, and go from there. So here we are on the middle plug. Like I said, we pulled this harness forward, and then we got that same, it's the 6-inch extension, 3 8 extension that I'm using, and that just gets me just slightly above that harness. Uh, now I can get my ratchet on there and get that one out. Here's a good point I should mention. Uh, when you're taking your ratchet off, you got your your ratchet extension and your socket. The socket's on the spark plug. And it doesn't want to just slip off really easy. So make sure you separate your ratchet from your extension. Give it a little wiggle back and forth and get it out. Because you don't want that socket to be stuck down there and then you gotta get your extension back in, you gotta line up the square and all that stuff. So just, there's your tech tip of the day. Number six plug, well, number six that I'm doing anyway. The very last plug on, anyway, rear bank, uh, rear plug. Uh, so I have the same six inch extension plus a three inch extension. And you're saying, well, I got a nine inch extension. Well, you're not gonna fit it in because there's no way you can make that angle and get that in down with the socket. So anyway, six inch extension, three inch extension. That gets me up here. Now I can move the ratchet back and forth, get that tight. So, perfect. I didn't have to take this off. I was being extremely lazy today, but uh, that'll get
get it done. All right. So coil pack's gonna go back in. Like I said, I used a little bit of, I know it's GM, but it'll work. Uh, dielectric grease, put a little bit in the end like that. That makes it easy to go on, easy to go off the next time I do the plugs. And uh, keeps out any, if any moisture was to get down there, which it shouldn't, it would help uh, protect against that too. So now we'll put the coils in and I'm gonna also tell you, like I said before, make sure you keep them in the same spot. Don't mix them up. All right, so uh, the three coils are in, um, bolts are in, connectors are on. I heard them click and then I put in the locks, uh, put the hose on, uh, tighten the bottom clamp down there. I only loosened it so I could turn this a bit. Uh, tighten this clamp here. I still have that one here to go. Uh, put on the vacuum line, which I took off, and all the wiring connectors. So there's only two and one there. And one right there. Ooh, where am I? Yeah, way up there. So yeah, those two. Um, yeah. So now all the plugs are in. They're all tight. Uh, ready for road test. So the other thing I'm going to do is change this uh, air filter that's here. Here's the old one. You can see how dirty and crusty it is. There's a new one. Uh, I went for Ford original. Um, I don't know. You're going to spend money, spend it on the filters. All right, very simple to do. Two clips, slides in. All right, started it up before I put that cover on, listened to it run. Sounded great, put the cover back on. I'm gonna take it for road test. Uh, that's it. So like, share, subscribe.